Okay, I'm back now. As you can see, we have plasma formation. That is a beautiful plasma. It is not too hot. The temperature is right around 200, 197. But if you watch the color, I have it at blue and purple right now with a little bit of white. Now watch as I change the voltage. Going up. I'm getting more white. Now I'm getting more yellowish white and blue towards the top. And I'm running about 120 volts there. Uh, I keep adding solution, but I really like the looks of that plasma ball, of uh, the sheath around that. It's blue and almost transparent, uh, except for at the bottom where it's mostly white. I'm going to go a little bit higher on the voltage. Now this is nothing like what I had going on before, where it would pop in the uh, container. It's not popping. And as far as production goes, production doesn't seem to be all that great. I'm getting slight bubbles out here, uh, and they won't ignite. Oh, okay. Now, make me a liar. Okay, now we're starting to get hydrogen. Okay, so now we do have an ignitable mix. The radio frequency is still very, very high. The radio is um, completely blocked out, so I can't hear anything with the radio. I'm going to go ahead and try and move the magnets up toward that. Boy, those are hot. Um, doesn't seem to be any real effect on it. But it is pretty snappy. So it's good hydrogen. The uh, cathode's not overheating. We're at 120 5 to 130 volts pulling 3.2 amps so this is like pulling nothing because the uh, the coil that I'm using for a choke is is actually acting as a resistor so that's going to be pulling a, a, a few amps by itself so uh, Really, I don't think this process, this part of it anyway, is pulling any amps. If I read my watts, it's only showing 100 watts. And that's what I was suspecting, the, the base voltage, uh, base amps. Somehow the kilowatt meter is able to read that. I'm not sure how. But I'm finding out more and more that uh, it's not just volts times amps. Uh, someone who knows more about electricity would know what it what it really is but regardless that's what's happening so we're going up to maximum voltage and see what happens okay now she's really wanting to glow there really wanting to overheat I mean it's trying to overheat like crazy my output seems to be pretty stable it's not not a crazy output or anything. There's nothing really different. Okay, well, it seems like the production dropped off as I moved away from the magnets. And then as I get closer to the magnets, it seems like it actually likes to be close to the magnet. So magnetism is affecting that plasma field. Oh boy, that's hot. I'm gonna light it. Wow. Okay, so it's putting out good hydrogen there, and it and it is affected by the by the magnetism. It would still put out hydrogen without the magnet, but it puts out a lot better hydrogen with the magnet. 
even though it's the same amount of hydrogen, it's better hydrogen. So I guess one's para hydrogen and one is ortho hydrogen. And someone can explain that to me because I've never bothered to uh, really get a good understanding of which is what. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it up to maximum voltage. We're at 140, 145 right now. We'll see what we can get without overheating that cathode. We're at 150. It's really trying to overheat at 150. It really wants to overheat right there. Output still looks about the same. It doesn't look any better or any worse. But we're uh, carrying a steady 150 volts there. And the cathode looks like it's trying to overheat, but it's just not going to do it with the plasma surrounding it. So, bring it up the rest of the way. Give her all she's got, Captain. That's all she's got right there. And it's glowing red hot with white light all around it but I think that white light is going to keep it from overheating now the bubbles that are coming out um, of the cell are very tiny into the bubbler and they've actually separated they're coming up in pairs I'm going to go ahead and ignite that I'm deaf. That's good hydrogen. That's very good hydrogen. Now that's pulling, um, well, running right at. 180 volts. Try and get the meter in the picture here so we can see them both at the same time. Maybe I can get the output into the picture also. There we go. Okay, now you won't have to be looking at nothing. Now our voltage wants to fluctuate up every now and then. Uh, the theory, um, the theory about the uh, um, arcing in the cell causing the hydrogen to burn could be right, but that's when it's a, a DC arc like a spark plug puts out that's a low order voltage this is a higher order voltage and it's, it's a plasma field and plasma is a gas also a, a liquid a solid I, <laughs> I really don't know but the plasma is not the same as a DC voltage and it, it does allow the hydrogen formation obviously because we're lighting hydrogen and it's very very powerful hydrogen those little tiny bubbles are easily as powerful as the big bubbles that my cell put out so it's a more compact hydrogen but it's very powerful and the plasma is keeping the tungsten cathode from overheating um, voltage is staying pretty constant at 180 and 185 and uh, it looks like the reaction is just going to continue on like this. Uh, I don't see it changing, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and watch it. Maybe I'll set a timer and see how long it goes. Uh, if anything happens, if it overheats or quits working or pops a diode or whatever, I'll, I'll run a timer and see how long it operates at this, um, this kind of output. <laughs> 